Captain to welcome. Give me a moment. Hi, I'm Sloy. I was checking the mail the other day and I got this in it. Uh, something, something, yada, yada, beacon corruption. Jesse says uh, we gotta meet up. Also, got emergency meeting beacon problem in it. And uh, I've. Uh, mm, 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 yes, a couple of episodes ago we did investigate quite a few of the. You know, absolute explosions of the nether energy uh, here and there on the server. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then don't worry. I'm pretty sure you will get a demonstration and we'll get a demonstration fairly soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go meet up with my server mates and we're gonna investigate exactly what happened. And I'm uh, hey, pains to say it, but I, I, I'm afraid we'll have to take this seriously because, uh, yeah, the stakes... Have never been lower, uh, higher. There are stakes in place, is what I'm trying to say. Finally, meeting. It's only been like a month. Um, What's going on here? Uh, that, that's what we're trying to figure oh. out. We're trying to figure out why Why's these are popping up around people's beacons. Yeah, who's doing it? Uh, I, I got one of these stupid things. Oh, I've just no. I've just got back. I've turned logged in. I've gone to my base and it's a stupid... Which, come on, who is it? Why are you all wearing stupid stuff? It was I mean, nice. Let's be honest. I'm wearing I this guy. I, it's <sighs> not. No one's doing this. This is well, happening. Wait, so things no don't just happen. Come on, someone's. It's all fun and games. I get it, but we've got a list. I'm on the list. I don't want it. So come on, who, who is it? Honestly, to be fair, no. I'm in the same boat as Foxy. Who's building it? No one. It's got to be one nobody's, of you. Nobody's building. Why? It. Why have you got bits of paper? It's the, it's the invite to the meeting. Oh yeah, we all got invited. Meeting? What invite? Why am I put meeting? The post office. What post office? One right yeah, there. I, yeah, I've been gone two I weeks. Put, Jesse and I put letters in the post office. I've got, I mean, I've got I, mail. I've got a whole been book. there since July. <laughs> well, like, it was a very long two weeks. Right. Anyway, right. I just want to know who it is so they can clear it up and I can get back to making videos because I've, I've got loads of building to do where that thing sprouted out of my hole and I, I need it fixed. Them. We, yeah, we can't nobody's touch doing them. this. No. Look, before what? we rule anything out, can we actually take a look at what happened to Foxy? Because that might have been actually just been a prank by somebody. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Follow he seems me. Fairly you can't convinced. miss it. It's this giant, stupid thing growing out of the ground at ah, my base. base. Right yeah, in the middle is... of where I've clearly been working. No Ooh, explosion. The I love you. Happened. I love your mess hall. Why is slack oh, yeah. small small brain? Yeah, I've been wondering <laughs> that too. <laughs> I think it's me okay? slack and someone else. See, see, this this here is intentional, right? I did yeah. this. This is what it's supposed to be like. That catastrophe over here is not. Oh. Oh. Look. Well. Look how there's stupid blue thing sticking off oh, it. Wow. Why would anyone do that? Yeah, are you guys? Um, you guys have a mixture of textures. Mine doesn't. I, I'm like all blue. I don't have red stuff. Well, maybe whoever's pranking you's developed a you know a taste for different textures. Or maybe they've run out of a material or something. Well, it's ridiculous. Ooh, this is really it goes so right down as well, all the way down. If you go down my well into the next level, it's all down there as well. Uh, is there a beacon at the bottom? I, I like can't see any beacon beam. What happened? To what's at my house? I think yeah, more than 50 the beacon beam is a bit unreliable. It only works if you actually activate it, but I don't have it activated unless I'm mining. So can confirm. It's... Goes all the way down. <laughs> like... So so someone's done it to you as well. Yeah, well, th this wow. this is why I've ordered all that scientific equipment to try and find out what it is. But yeah, this looks what? very similar to what's at mine. This is ridiculous. Well, come on then. There's like pretty much most of the whitelist online now. Who was it? Which one of you? See, I don't Ooh. think it was anyone. I think this Look, is just I tell you what happens. I, I, I just can't handle this at the minute. I've got too much to do. I've got four, you know, 14 days of catching up to do on the server. I'm, I'm going, and when I come back, I expect this gone. I don't, I don't, well, I don't care who it is. Whichever one of you that's done it, it's not funny. Don't do it again. It needs to be gone when I get back. Okay, I've had enough. Bye. I'll see you later. Um, Where is he going? This is his bye. house, though. I know. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I guess if we want it gone, time to call Dadcraft's reclaiming service? I don't know. I don't know. I, I say we actually build more of this around this. This is hilarious. 
Somebody said something about scientific equipment. Yes, I have lots of big machines and things that do stuff and things. But what um, kind of stuff? Well, there's like a laser, there's a, a discombobulating slime machine, I've got like mechs and all sorts, and they're going to help us find out what's actually going on. So, I've done a bit of science as well. What did you actually find out? We can compare some notes. Uh, well, they're, they're quite expensive machines, um, and I found out that the bigger laser is better than the smaller one, and don't AFK by the slime testing thing. That doesn't work out. But did you did you learn anything? Yeah. Yes, 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 I did. Yeah, I learned that there's actually three different sizes of mechs, and the lasers, you can... I mean, like, about, them. like... The nether stuff. What'd you learn about the nether Show stuff? Show us the machines. Oh, I, I don't know what you mean about the nether stuff. I've just got all the equipment. I was hoping that the equipment would do the work for me. It turns out it's not the case. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. It's very well, similar to me and Bloodstone. Oh, Groovy, you're <laughs> halfway decent with machines? Yeah, I've got I've got ideas. I mean, I've I've seen big machines and small machines. Which ones have you got? I, I'll tell you what, let, let's go have a little look. I'll show you. I'll show you. I've okay. got Dave. Dave's the best one. Digitally advanced vehicle, uh, vehicle entity. He's one of the one of the machines I've been using. He's uh, I'll say using. I mean looking at primarily. Oh, hold on. I'll oh. use it to get yeah. Okay. Because I was like, I have a time. <laughs> Where oh. are the two of you? Uh... By the portal. Yeah, she's ball. using my my in, or my yeah. inner chest. That's, that's there we go. Oh, okay. Okay. I wanted to bring you the rockets, but you. You're oh fine. well, thank you. Very scientifically advanced base has. Ooh, work you control. have mobs everywhere. <laughs> it's scientifically advanced, but they can't mob proof. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I, don't yeah. I don't do mob proof. Yeah. Just, just, just. Oh, just. I went the wrong way. Okay. Yep. Okay. It's it's in the documentation somewhere, but that's. Do you, do you still have the instruction manual here? Uh, uh, not here. I mean, to be honest, the manual was pretty flimsy. It was basically a sign that said "build it yourself." Oof. So I don't. I don't even know if I built it properly. If I'm honest, it turned up as a kit. So, yeah, came into the shop looks and alive. Said, Look, we've got this awesome machinery, and then they sold it to me, and then then I sold it to me again. Um, and, and did you make a profit? Here. I was hoping it would help with all this stuff. Um, it's weird. I don't think I did. I think it. I think it cost me money. I might have been had. But inside mm. the uh, inside the pot of the war machines and things, like I had the most success in here. Oh, here we go, proper lab, very nice. Yeah, so over here by the discombobulator, um, I did get a reaction when I turned it on. It started to like do this weird spirally spin out of control type thing when I turned it on. So I've not turned it on since. Um, is it gonna explode? I mean, it's flashing. Yeah. Oof. But literally, I've, I've just put stuff in it and turned it on, and I've not really found out anything. Um, I think I kind of just liked the look of the, the stuff, so I bought it, and now I need someone to use it. I think I can help out. Yeah, Silent Groover, you're, you're science boys. I there is actually another laser. Season. I didn't really... <laughs> I'm in the same boat as you, Beard. I didn't really, like, research much. I just had a lab. <laughs> what what happens here? Um, well, if I, I actually turn the power up over here, it would probably not be good. I wouldn't recommend standing in there. Yeah, okay. especially if you're wearing, like, an iron helmet. That does not sound good. That's tin tin foil, foil. Yeah. Yeah. Do we actually have any, 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 anything that says the tin foil actually helps with this at all? Yeah, I did science it. Basically, it does protect the brain, but I only tested the tin foil hats. I didn't test any of this other weird PPE. Um, so I can't guarantee how good I mean, that is. My logic is is that you know you make you make those protection potions out of turtle helmets, so. They've got to be pretty effective, right? It Maybe. You. Did I you test it? Matters. Do they come with a certificate? Have they been tested in actual no, I, test conditions? I, I, I haven't tested it yet. I, 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 I'm, I'm doing a field test at the moment. You sound very defensive. Why do you care so much about the tinfoil hats? Well, at the moment, I feel like I'm the only person who can actually supply the tin four hats, and I don't want anybody stepping on any kind of commercial turf that I might have. It's all about this. It's all about the, the full body protection hazmat suit. I mean, this is what you need. This will protect you. Do you have multiple sizes? I, I do, yeah. It's, it's yeah, weird. It's like a one size fits all kind of thing. You're going to need to make a smaller version for Zloy. I, yeah. I think you can see the issue. Yeah. Uh, does yeah, anybody lesson. have a spider eye? Can't say so. Anything. The oral picture at the moment pans out as Beastone wasted a bunch of money on uh, buying robots that he doesn't need. 
Uh, yeah, Foxy yeah. is mm-hmm. utterly convinced that someone's put on his leg, even though there's evidently nothing on his leg. And Grua is the only one actually making any money from the entire, you know, beacon exploding with nether bit situation. Meanwhile, Dadcraft is literally living in a giant ravine filled with the nether, nether bits, and Slack Lizard has an entire base filled with it. This seems fine. I mean, I hate to say it? follow the money because please do not. You will uncover a <laughs> lot of stuff, illegal things I did. But if we do, Grooves, do you have anything to say for yourself? Yeah, I did loads of testing. The Tim Fall hats are fine. Um, basically, I feel like the risk to you is minimal versus the possible increase of my wealth. Mm. So I think it's an okay trade off. I don't feel this helps solve the actual problem of the beacons at all, though, Groover. This seems to be solving more sort of financial problems. So I reckon okay. we should grab some samples, Groover. If we get some samples yeah. together, we can probably put them in these machines. And if you read the manual and figure out how it all works, maybe we can actually find something out. Yep. Sounds like plan. Would it be worth getting I... samples from other people's bases? Because apparently people have got slightly different kind of things going on, right? Yours, yeah, mine did is you say different. Yours doesn't look like that? Yeah, no, mine looks different than anyone else's that I've seen so far. What kind of beacon base do you have? Uh, iron. Iron, okay. Um, well, basically, the testing that I did showed that gold and emerald seems to be quite slow progress. Iron and diamond's quite fast, and neverite, we cannot build a neverite beacon. It'll just go crazy. So maybe oh. it's the type of base that you've got that's making it blue. Okay, so... Uh, well, my, my, beacon, beacon. my beacon's fine. My begins not getting any issues. I do have this thing that's growing on my head, though. Oh. Oh. I don't know why. I had Curse of Binding Armor stuck on for, like, the longest time. Can you take your pants off as well? We need to see everything. I can. Uh, We we really did not want to need to see that. (laughs) Okay, no. I I thought that looked like just, like, a scab, but that's definitely... It's not right, is it? It it smells like the other words. If we put him inside this big machine with the big lasers and stuff, yeah. that will probably be safe. We might be able to find out what it is. I don't well, know if I trust you guys with my poor Tizzy. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm take scared. Take care of my son. Um, <laughs> Are you guys medical go- professionals? Like, I think we should like actually take him to a proper doctor. <laughs> I'll okay. I'll be I'll be back to, to check up on him. Let's silent. We need to go take down your beacon now. Yeah, I got another right beacon. We should probably deal with that. You've got a what? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Nope, it's definitely not at spawn either. Alrighty, so I, I didn't want to omit this, but I do have uh, another right beacon. I thought I'd flex on you guys. Anyway, it's not really, like, a problem. There's not really anything to see. It's just a small another right beacon. Um. Um. Oh. This looks quite big. Yeah, there's nothing to see here. We don't need to, we don't need to be at my base. We should look at the, uh, the spawn issue. This is way worse, definitely. Uh, no, I think that, so. uh, I think this one's now worse than that one. Or at the very least, they're about the same. More importantly, no, none this of this worse. was was there, actually. Back yeah, well, when we were meeting up, like, less than half an hour ago. No, there was some there, but not, not this. Yeah, this I mean, yeah, the, this technical down here was not here whatsoever. I had to walk around this hole to get from, from the mail. This is... What? No. Yeah, I I don't know about all this. I think it's a little bit worse, maybe three or four percent. Uh, Gruva, your your house. Oh, my house. What about it? Um, it's now infected. Yeah. Is your house <gasps> infected? I hope yeah. you have like house insurance. Oh. Are you kidding me? It Silent. Is. This is your fault. Nah, you don't have house insurance. I didn't think I needed any. Well, that's where everyone always goes wrong. I thought we had an anti-griefing policy. I mean... That's my thinking here, though. This actually demonstrates something really well, which is that, remember how you can't really do a netherwood tree farm? Well, you can, but it's hard. But specifically because the netherwood grows through every single block and replaces it. Yeah, this is intense. That's a oh, that's a point. So, we can't stop it. Yeah, we can't stop it at all. So, so even if it's like just... on the outside of your builds, it's gonna grow inside no matter what. Can I we mean... just turn off the beacon and then yeah. just just tear it all down? 
Where I is mean, the beacon? Uh, the beacon beam is going through through blocks. This is not. Sorry, what? That's not possible. Yeah, that's not natural. It's going through the blocks. This thing is solid. What? Yeah, so the beacon's gonna be stuck there for now. It's gonna be an eternal flex, and we'll just need to get a weed whacker or something for this. <laughs> what about my house, though? What are you going to do about that? Are you going to weed whack my house? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Aww. I was going to suggest it anyway. I mean, have to... I mean, Silent, how many netherite hoes do you have at the Sorceress? Uh, I have approximately two hundred, so I think we can I, we can do some cleaning. We should yeah. definitely get some samples from this though before you uh, get rid of it all, because there's 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 some stuff here that I've not seen at the other ones, like this. I've not uh, seen this at the other ones. Uh, mine has it. Sorry, it mine. No, mine just has blackstone, I think. Well, I mean, if Groove is to be believed, then this would be one of the more powerful infections. There wasn't but, really but... anyone on online while we were, you know, talking about about this. To do no. all of this behind our backs, right? It's no. been yeah, just everyone us. on the server has been together, so either we oh, got someone Foxy. very, very sneaky. No, he signed or... out. Oh, oh yeah, Foxy was Foxy logged off. I don't think he was on enough time to do this before he logged out. I mean, it would be kind of a Foxy thing to 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 accuse people of pranking and be the one doing it, but I don't think he's been on enough to have done. The rest of this, know. you know? All I it's... know is that this is sus and we should <laughs> probably throw it in his face. I, I feel like this I'm basalt hard. thing, it, it it's throwing me, right? Because you're saying that the the the, the different bases cause different things, maybe, like speculatory. Mm -hmm. But Tiz said he has an iron one. Like his is iron, mine is iron, mine has gone absolutely insane and his has done nothing and then this one has basalt and it's obviously grown insane well, but does anyone else have iron mine's iron, iron too but didn't you say that you you hadn't looked at yours in a couple of weeks when oh we months checked up on it it, yeah. it had been months and tis aren't like i feel like i see you move yours every stream yeah i move mine all the time yeah so and mine's been in the same spot for like three months so I, it may just be because his hasn't had time to be able to do it. Maybe. But on I, the other I hand, been like in it's... his inventory constantly. Look, mayhaps this is all, like, there's a lot of variables. Luckily, we have two entire scientists on that kind of case. If they okay. just collect all the data, maybe we can figure this out. In the meantime, what is this really is a prank? Because Foxy Ooh. seems pretty convinced. And he sometimes mm -hmm. has, like, a point. Like one single one, do but this? still though. We need a private investigator. Well, I hate to voluntold. I actually love to voluntold people, but uh, Jess is already wearing a trench coat. Um. I I just put on a trench coat. Oh. <laughs> I have a trench coat skin. I literally turned my back for a second. <laughs> but don't do that. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> your no. kind of thing happens when you turn your back for a second. Giant Nether apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I investigated last season. I could do it again this season. But Silent's probably better at it. No, no, you already volunteered. I... Anyway, the more the merrier and uh, have fun figuring this all of this out. I have an entire Deathcraft to cram into a vault. So, uh, bye! 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 Well, that just raises bye. questions of its own. I was gonna mm. say, did he just say put him in a vault? Yeah. Naturally, the moment that there's actual work to be done, he's gone. So that's the general gist of it. We get ourselves another infestation rapidly spreading from every beacon around. I say as I stare at my own beacon shop from a while ago. This is unfortunate to say the least and I should probably clean it up. Of course, one option that none of us considered so far is just not using beacons, but I'm pretty sure we are kind of doomed anyway in that way because Gruva has already created them. And it seems even if you're not using yours, like in T-Storm's case, where he kept it in his inventory, you're still getting the corruption anyway, uh, so... I don't know how I'm gonna juggle this, but I'm just gonna stay away from everybody else's beacons. And hey, would you look at that, Darkcraft has logged on. So, I better get going and get going quick, because there are bank deeds to be done. So I'm doing the bank deeds sometime in the next episode. 
So thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Zloy Active. This has been Truly Bedrock. Quite a sizable call up if I, if I do say so myself. And we're pretty proud that we even could assemble this big of a group every now and again. Uh, to be continued, have a good one. See you tomorrow.